James reading Keep It Simple Selling. So he's in the front part of the book. He's on chapter four, right? He's on chapter four where I talked about the uh, company, uh, the Casa Mignano restaurant that fed me food that I wasn't happy with. And I was going to leave. No, don't worry about it. Just nachos. I just wanted the sour cream. I didn't know y'all go charge me for the sour cream. I thought it was kind of like dressing. Oh, it was a taco salad. That's right. It was a taco salad. Right? I never ordered a taco salad. So, so I got the thing. And the next thing you know, all of a sudden, the manager comes up and says, no, you're going to be happy. No, we're going to make sure you like it. No, we're going we're gonna to take care of it. Oh, no, you don't have to do that. Y'all are good company. She would not let me leave. And not only did she not let me pay for my meal, she gave me a $25 gift certificate saying, please, come on back. Come on back. Now, I told that story not so you can give away something at the dealership, right? That's the first thing people think. What do I have to give away? What was the thing that was impressive is not that I got the $25 because $25 is meaningless. What was impressive was the fact that she followed the four demands that I look for from every company I do business with. Look, I'm gonna judge you by your sorriest employee at the dealership. It doesn't matter that you are so great. <gasps> You're amazing. They go to service and that service advisor treats them terrible. They go to the, uh, the, the, get the oil changed and they forgot to screw the little thing back up and it blows our engine up. Everybody at that dealership sucks, right? They judge everybody based on your sorriest employee. That's why you have to learn to manage every part of your sale. That's why you want to be involved in the service. You want to create that environment that regardless of what happens, you're on top of. Now, you're not in a perfect business, right? This is chapter four of Keep It Simple Selling. So the, the four demands, the four demands that a customer wants. Number one, they want a perfect product, right? Perfect product, wrong planet, not gonna be perfect. You know, you built by Chevrolet, they're gonna be mistakes. You built by Honda, they're gonna be mistakes. You built by a Subaru, they're gonna be mistakes. It doesn't matter what thing you sell, there is going to be imperfections, but that doesn't mean they don't want it perfect, right? The second thing they want is they want it now. They want an immediate response, they want everything to happen when they want it, which is right this second. Number three, they want a delightful experience from everyone. They want a delightful experience from everyone. And the fourth thing they want is they want to know you care. Now, the only way to show you care in a way that builds loyalty is when one of these three things don't go right. When it's not perfect, how you respond. When it's not timely, how you get it, get, get them answered. When it's not delightful, how you fix it. That's how you get care.